So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the greatest watch market update show in the world. Unbelievable but true. But you know, me and Kino always, always try to bring you the truth on what's really happening out there in the Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market. Unbelievable but true. And today, Kino, Kino to me, Joaquin to you, has an unbelievable watch market update dedicated only to daytona rolex watches unbelievable that kino unbelievable and also ladies and gentlemen we spoke about this subject a couple of weeks ago that kino has done a facebook page or excuse me a facebook group page uh, so you guys could, you know, discuss your your thoughts on Rolex watches, Paddock watches, Richard Mill, APs, Bacheron, Brigitte, and all that good stuff. You will have to go to my Facebook page, which is called Juan Nieves, J-U-A-N Nieves, N-I-E-V as in Victor, E-S. Go to my page and then uh, scroll down, scroll down to where groups are at, and you're gonna find there the group Opus and Time Watches, the group. So you could, uh, you know, request to be in the group and all that good stuff. So there it is, you go to my page, which is Juan F. Nieves, and then you scroll down to where it says groups and you'll find there Opus and Time Watches, all right? Anyway, guys, so we have an unbelievable uh, watch market update lined up for you guys on Rolex Daytona watches. Unbelievable. But before I get into all that good stuff, let's go into my magical intro. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with the Rolex Daytona watch market update. And let's just dive right into it. Our first watch is a watch that I purchased like a year and a half ago. One of my Rolex ADs from the Caribbean called me that they had this watch for me. It was a Rolex Daytona Rose Gold Chocolate Dial Oyster Flex. The reference number that watch, the reference number of that beautiful Rolex Daytona Oyster Flex with a chocolate dial, unbelievable. The reference number that watch, it is the 116515. The retail price of that watch is $31,500. As soon as I got it, I had friends of mine said, man, if you will sell me that watch, I would like to get that watch from you, I'd like to buy it for you. They even offered me $40,000 for the watch. As soon as I got off the plane, they offered me $40,000 for that watch. And I replied to all these friends of mine, man, thank you so much for the offer, but I really want, I want the watch for myself, you know? Uh, you know, it's not about the money, I, I want it for myself, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, then they started talking to me again, oh, the watch, they're gonna discontinue the Rolex line, blah, 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 blah. March came around, and the watch was discontinued. That's right. That Rolex Daytona Oyster Flex Rose Gold with a chocolate dial was discontinued. And I had one. And it jumped all the way up to $47,000. All the way up. You don't have to song all the way up to $47,000. That's right. And you're not going to believe. Today we are in the month of May 2024. This was last year, 2023. All the way up to $47,000. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I paid the retail price for that watch is $31,500. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. And I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay, and I mean don't pay more for that beautiful watch that I own, the Rose Gold Daytona with a chocolate dial with an Oyster Flex rubber strap. Don't pay more than $34,000 and Dropping. Unbelievable, but true. True story. True story. From $47,000 when it was discontinued to 
$4,000. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. Our next Rolex Daytona, it is also an Oyster Flex with a silver dial. White gold. Unbelievable. They call this one Casper the Friendly Ghost. Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable. The reference number of that watch is the 116519. And it also has a retail price of $31,500. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. And it also was discontinued in March of last year. In March of last year. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it went all the way up, all the way up to $46,000, $45,000, $44,000 when it was discontinued. Unbelievable. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for that beautiful Rolex Daytona Oyster Flex with a silver dial, Casper the Friendly Ghost dial. Don't pay more than $33,000 and dropping. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to know that the watch market is dead. You're not going to believe this. You know, changing the conversation. I got a phone call yesterday. Unbelievable. You're not going to believe this. I got a phone call from an authorized dealer. Unbelievable. From an authorized dealer that I have wanted to buy a watch with them in the past. And I, I gave up on them. I gave up on the watch brand and and the model and all that. And it was this, they gave, me a, they gave me this little golf ball. See if you can read that, unbelievable. They even called me up to tell me that they had a watch for me to sell me. <laughs> unbelievable. Richard Mill gave me this little golf ball to try to entice me to buy a Richard Mill watch. Richard Mill watches are dead, dead, unbelievable. So don't be lollipop suckers. They're coming out of the woods. They're coming out of the woods now to offer me that brand. <laughs> Unbelievable, that Richard Mill. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Our next Rolex Daytona is another Rolex Daytona Oyster Flex. This one is yellow gold. Unbelievable. Yellow gold with a white dial. Unbelievable. And it also, also got discontinued, as they say. You know, this one is the reference number, the 116518. It has a retail price of $29,950. And it was over, over $45,000. $45,000. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. It's your money. You do whatever you want. But I'm going to have to tell you, don't pay for that beautiful Rolex Oyster Flex Daytona Yellow Gold with a white dial. Unbelievable looking watch. Unbelievable. And I repeat, just in case you want to check, the reference number is the 116518. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the retail price is $29,950. I'm going to have to tell you, don't pay more than $31,000. And you know what it is already. You know what it is. Our next watch is a Rolex Daytona Two-Tug. Unbelievable looking watch. Unbelievable. You know, back in the days, that was my first Rolex I had. I had a two-tone Rolex Daytona with a black dial. This is probably like 1990, uh, I would say 98, 98, probably 98, 1998. An unbelievable Rolex Daytona. It was two tones, stainless steel with gold. Unbelievable looking watch. And I got to tell you, the reference number of this beautiful watch is the 116503, a 40 millimeter. The retail price of that watch is $19,100. And it was over $25,000. And I'm going to have to tell you the sad news if you're banking on that Rolex Daytona two-tone. Don't pay, and I mean don't pay more than $16,500. And 
unbelievable. Unbelievable what's happening in the watch market. It is people don't realize because they're not where I'm sitting at, what I can see, what I hear. It is terrible up there. It is really bad. Where the watch market is right now, it's going even worse than that, worse. Our next watch is a Rolex Daytona, fully white gold. Unbelievable, unbelievable with a silver dial. Unbelievable, unbelievable. They call this watch the GOATS as well. And the reference number of that watch is the 116509, 40 millimeter. Retail price of that watch is $41,000. $600. It was over at one moment. This beautiful Casper the Friendly Gold style was over $60,000. That's right. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to tell you don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $37,000 and dropping. I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. It's your money and you do whatever you want. I understand that a lot of you out there have a lot of money and you don't care spending that money and giving it away. That's fine. But give it to different causes, you know? Give it to the dogs, give it to the cats, give it to the animals, you know? Don't give it away to these flim flammers. They have been flim flamming you for too long until sweet Kit, Kino and I came along. Unbelievable. You understand me? I mean, do something better with that money you're giving away to these hucksters and hoodwink. They have fleeced you. They have flim flam you for too long. Unbelievable, but true. Oof. Our next watch is the Rolex Daytona Rose Gold with a chocolate dial. Fully rose gold with a chocolate dial. Unbelievable looking watch. Unbelievable looking watch. The reference number that watch is the 116505. It has a retail price of $40,100. And it was over, over $65,000 at one moment. And I'm gonna have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I'm gonna have to tell you the truth. I mean, you do whatever you want, but don't pay for that beautiful rose gold chocolate dial Daytona, fully rose gold. Don't pay more than $42,000 and dropping. Unbelievable, the watch market is dead. Unbelievable. Our next watch is the Rolex White Gold Daytona with a black racing dial with Arabic, you know, dial. You know, they call it the Arabic dial. Unbelievable looking watch. Unbelievable. And the reference number of that watch is the 116519. I'm just gonna tell you, ladies and gentlemen, about that watch. Don't pay. I'm not even gonna tell you the retail price, none of the above. I'm just gonna tell you, don't pay for that used slider condition material watch. Don't pay more than $20,000 and drop it. Unbelievable, but true, unbelievable. Don't pay more than $20,000 and that watch is dropping, okay? You understand me? All right. Our next watch is the Rolex yellow gold with a black dial. They call that watch the Paul Newman. Unbelievable. The Rolex Paul Newman Daytona. It has an Oyster Flex strap, rubber strap. Unbelievable looking watch. Unbelievable looking watch. And the reference number of that watch, it's unbelievable. The reference number of that watch, it is the 116518. It has a retail price of $29,950. And I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you do whatever you want with your money, but I'm going to have to tell you, don't pay more for that beautiful Rolex Daytona, yellow gold, black dial, Paul Newman. Don't pay more than $31,000 and dropping. I mean, you do whatever you want. Our next watch is an unbelievable watch. This is the Rolex Daytona Platinum. 
with an Arabic blue doll with a baguette bezel all around. Unbelievable looking watch. This watch is an embarrassment to say what it was costing in the Corona hype era. There were people out there paying for that watch, 700,000, 800,000. Every month it would jump up. I saw that that watch, that beautiful Rolex Platinum Daytona with a blue Arabic dial, baguette bezel, diamond baguette bezel, unbelievable, reached the price of nine hundred thousand dollars unbelievable i'm in, i'm embarrassed to tell you the retail price i'm not even going to tell you the retail price of that watch but i am going to tell you what it cost in the corona era and all these flim flammers were having a great time selling that watch to a bunch of tomato cans that had deep pockets out there Unbelievable. I'm not even going to give you a reference number of that watch. You do your own homework. You know, the same way Kino does his homework, Kino wants you to do your homework on that watch. I described it to you. You know, I described it to you. Don't pay more, and I mean don't pay more for that beautiful Rolex Daytona Platinum Blue Arabic Dial Diamond Baguette Bezel don't pay more than $268,000 and drop it. Unbelievable, but true. The watch market is dead. There's no need for me no more to be dropping and this, that. I'm just telling you the watch market is dead. Stop getting flim flam by all these hucksters. Their days are numbered. People have awakened. You know who has awakened a lot of people out there? Kino. Kino, to me, Joaquin, to you. He has awakened the masses. <clears throat> he has awakened the masses. The sheeps have been awakened. The sheeps, they have been awakened. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Muppet Boiler Room secondary gray watch market is dead in a backyard pool and floating face down like this. Unbelievable, but true. There's not even no need to laugh because it's not a laughing matter no more. The watch market is dead. Everything will go Retail or below retail? Below retail. Over a 50% discount, 25% discount. Stop chewing on the lollipop. Stop being window lickers. Stop being tomato cans. And you, you out there, stop kicking tires. The watch market is dead. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoy my watch market update on the Rolex Daytona this week. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. On behalf of Kino, unbelievable, that Kino sweet kid. And I, we would like to say to take care and brush your hair.